लोगों का रुख जो मोड़ दे ऐसा तम रखते हैं लबों पर हंसी और आंखें नम रखते हैं ए दुनिया वालों ना परखो हमारी बहा Gentlemen, we now await the arrival of our esteemed guest, the Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, a lawyer, a veteran political representative, and an ardent, long-time champion of equitability in society and integrity in the Indian public life, the Honorable President Sri Ramnath Kovind assumed charge of his office as the 14th President of India on 25th July 2017. Sri Ramnath Kovind completed his schooling in Kanpur and pursued higher education in Kanpur University for receiving the degrees of BCom and LLB. He enrolled as an advocate Ladies and gentlemen, we now welcome the chief guest for today's parade, the Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. You are requested to kindly rise and remain standing for the Rashtriya salute.
ऑपरेशन विजय पताका सेना विमानन कोर में लहराई है ऑपरेशन विजय ऑपरेशन एक दो या प्रक्रिया में उत्तेजना और लोगों में वो रवानी चाहिए जो हमारे क्रांतिकारियों शहीदों वीरों और योद्धाओं के अंदर था क्योंकि वह खून कहो किस मतलब का जिसमें जीवन न रवानी है जो परवश होकर पैदा है वह खून नहीं पानी है वह खून नहीं पानी है Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now witness the formation of a hollow square, which is the initiation of the traditional procedure of color presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, now the parade second in command and parade adjutant are marching back to their respective position, and the Nishan Kesing is being taken out of the parade by the ensign JCU. Oh, my God. 
against pleasure to be presented by his high school. In my capacity as a Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, I dedicate this event to the Armed Forces of the country. It has been 32 years since the Army Aviation Corps came into existence. This period has been replete with tales of heroism, honor, and glory in various operations. Immediately after its raising in 1986, the Army Aviation Corps proved its impeachable combat credentials during Operation Power in Sri Lanka. The Siachen Glacier has been the ultimate operational frontier for the Corps since 1984. Routinely operating at 20,000 feet and above in extremely challenging conditions, the highly skilled and motivated pilots of the Corps have been carrying out human service in Operation Mayfield. In, the, in this context, I would particularly refer to my CSN visit on May 10 last year at Kumar Post. It was a unique experience. Our Javans living there in most adverse circumstances in the glacier is a testimony to their unparalleled valor and determination. I realized on my visit that we live in peace because of vigilance and sacrifices of these brave soldiers. The Army Aviation Corps has earned 273 honors and awards for conspicuous gallantry and distinguished service. This speaks volumes of the exceptional valor and spirit of the Corps personnel and is modern for all soldiers and officers of our armed forces. You have earned distinction in various wars and operations and have excelled in sports, adventure and overcome numerous professional challenges. Your courage and steadfastness have won you the battle title target in Operation Desert in 1999. Many of our squadrons have been awarded the prestigious Chief of Army Staff Unit Citation for their exceptional performance. You have been excellent ambassadors of our country while operating overseas in countries like Somalia and the Democratic Republic of Congo while our United Nations peacekeeping missions. You have performed much beyond the call of duty during natural calamities. At this color presentation ceremony, I would like to pay homage to the martyrs of the Army Aviation Corps. Their blood and sacrifice has secured our sovereignty and brought glory to our nation. I also congratulate all veterans and serving soldiers of the Corps for their devotion to duty and professional conduct. You have been true force multipliers in some of the most inhospitable terrain and adverse climate conditions in the world. I take this opportunity to convey my best wishes to all ranks and families of the entire Army Aviation Corps Faculty, the Indian Army and the nation of the world. We take the solemn war to defend the borders as well as sovereignty of our country against all odds. I am confident that we will fulfill this hope and uphold the dignity of our nation and our people, what will be the past, and strive for excellence in all of our Indians. May you fly high and bring glory to the nation. I wish you happy landings and Godspeed. Thank you, Jai.